Hello, hi. Another video from UK Home Cinemas. This is our client Sam, and we visited Sam this afternoon to um, deal with an issue to do with an Apple TV, but we've had a kind of visit to our cinema room that we created a couple of years ago, and we thought, why don't we just do a quick whirlwind video about the cinema room? We can talk to Sam about lots of memorabilia and stuff that he's got in there. So, it was a garage conversion. So it was a double garage when we first saw it. All right. Come in here, I just think, oh, this is such a lovely cinema room. Uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, as, as the Richard said, it was a, a double garage. Um, the issue, or one of the issues, the number of issues we gave Richard was there was things in here that needed to be taken uh, account of. In that uh, area behind, we've actually got the water softener, some legacy controls for our heating system, and our Megaflow uh, water water sort of like a heater. So yeah. we needed to have access to that. And behind uh, the, the, this bit which just looks out here, we've actually got our own uh, consumer unit and other controls, and you can probably see a little light like, there shining. There are other controls behind there uh, which, which need access to. Yeah. So Richard had to factor all that lot in. So what we did was we came in and had some early meetings in here. And the initial idea which Sam had was that, that he was going to get some builders to build a separate room at the back and partition off that area so that he could get to where the all of, all of the hot water stuff was in the back corner. And I looked at the size of the room. It's a really, yeah, it's a generous double garage, but I looked at the size of it and I said, well, the problem is it's just gonna be not quite long enough for two rows of seats if you do that. So instead we came up with the idea that you don't make this room any smaller. You just kind of box things in with acoustically transparent fabrics so that, you know, speakers and so on can be behind the fabrics. And, you know, we've got a speaker inside that area where the hot water system is. So it means that the room didn't have to get any smaller, but we just kind of boxed in each thing that we didn't want to see. So yeah, that's it. Now, the other interesting thing is that since we filmed uh, the project for our time-lapse video, Sam has bought all this um, memorabilia. And uh, we thought it'd be really interesting to talk about that on, the, on a quick video. So. Yeah, I suppose if, I, if I'm honest, I had a few bits and pieces beforehand. But of course, this has been a catalyst for me to go and keep buying stuff, and I, I need to try and stop myself from. But but the the uh, I suppose the in terms of memorabilia, I've got like a superhero corner in that right hand corner there with Captain America, uh, Thor, and, and uh, Iron Man helmets, sort of like from this, sort of like you know from one universe, and from the other universe you've got Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. So effectively, I kept tried to keep all my and, and you know as time has gone on, things have moved around. And I've sort of been been categorised a little bit more than just being put here and put there. So effectively, superhero corner. And then when I look across the other side, this is my Star Wars corner. And when you look at what's there, they they range from uh, from left to right. The Star Wars film number four, or, or the original, the first one that was ever made in '77, going through to the Mandalorian, the Stormtrooper, and uh, uh, and Darth Vader hel uh, helmets. And you actually got going back to Mandalorian again. You've got Grogu. Um, we've got so Luke Skywalker's uh, uh, lightsaber, and we've actually got the Tie Fighter and uh, uh, and um, X-wing from the well, I mean, they've, they've been throughout the films really, but particularly the first three. Uh, so that's my Star Wars corner. I didn't stop there; carried on um, over to to the here. I've actually got some figurines, um, and again, sort of uh, this was the next ones I sort of bought, uh, and probably. Be People take two people suck eggs in terms of what they are, but for those people that don't know, it's the Godfather, Scarface, Indiana Jones, the first film that is, uh, Outlaw Josie Wells, and uh, Back to the Future. Uh, carried on, and um, then I've actually got uh, a Witcher figurine, so it's not just films, so it's obviously Witcher being sort of like a, a sort of like a, a series. Back to films again, they've got my Harry Potters over in the, in the uh, above the fridge so the fridge was a was a subsequent purchase but i suppose no media room uh, no, no media room is sort of like complete without some kind of uh, some kind of a fridge i was going to have a um popcorn. A popcorn maker on top but i decided against that um so it's too cliche yeah cliche <laughs> but also i've got my my picture of um, a popcorn outside which you somebody may or may not have noticed so that that's my that's that's my figurines but then as per usual i carried on and I suppose there's a link here. I've got a, a, a saying from the original Rocky film, sort of that iconic pose on top of the steps. What I then did was bought some figurines from the uh, from the various four films, which you've got the uh, the Rocky, Cabalang, Ivan Drago, Apollo Creed. 
So I sort of like I've, I've, I've carried on with those bits and pieces. Uh, in addition, what I've also tried to do, um, a lot of films tend to have iconic vehicles or cars. So what I've actually got, and, that, and there's a bit of a tie up here. So we've actually got the, uh, the number plate from the DeLorean with the uh, Back to the Future sort of sign. Of course, the, there is a gap here because there's a, there's a speaker behind here. We've actually got the Jurassic Park um, from, uh, I'm not actually sure which one 18 was, but one of the one of the vehicles from the uh, from the first film. Um, there was a Velociraptor, Velociraptor sort of like figurine, so high in here to tie up with that. But that's actually elsewhere in the house now because it, it's a blue. Every and, home should have one. Uh, it's a blue, <laughs> and my wife loves loves blue with the actual Velociraptor. Uh, so that's so, so there was that tie up. But then we've actually got Stark, which obviously ties up with the um, the Iron Man helmet over there. And we've got Nervous, which is the Ferrari number plate from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And finally, we've got Ecto, which is the uh, the ambulance comes sort of like Ghostbusters vehicle from Ghostbusters. So that's that's my oh, figures. and another speaker behind me, of course. So yeah, there are reasons why there are <laughs> gaps. And over in this corner, because it's not just figurines, um, and it's also not just a, a, a movie room. This is movie. We've got PlayStation in here, and so we watch as most people do sports, etc. So I've actually got sort of a, uh, an original Kevin Keegan shirt from 1977. I'm not a Liverpool supporter, by the way, but uh, from, my, from my brother, so I couldn't turn that down. It could be worth something. And in the other corner there, we've got our Formula Run, although heavily Ayrton Senna based, because um, my, my wife is in terms of legacy an Ayrton Senna fan. Um, that's my media room as it is now. But no doubt if Richard comes back, it'll probably be different again. Thanks very much, Sam. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing us around. Um, thanks for everyone for watching the video. And um, if you liked it, please like. And if you like our videos generally, please subscribe.